everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And this is our first ever in a new series that we are calling Tasty Trials. You know those really great short videos that you see on Facebook that show how to make a recipe in like a minute and 32 seconds? They're made by one of the places that does it is called Tasty. There are several like BuzzFeed, Tasty, Proper Tasty, there's a bunch. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start testing these recipes to see if they're any good. We're going to start today with three ingredient apple crumble in the crock pot and we're going to see how it works and if it tastes good. So let's go see about this tasty trial. All right, we are going to embark on our maiden voyage now many of you may know if you are on Facebook um, the videos that are put out by Tasty and they're super fast they're really short and they show you these quick recipes that you can throw together seemingly with little effort and easy to find ingredients so I thought it might be fun to actually start making some of these to see how well they really work and how good they really taste so today we're going to make the apple crumble in the crock pot and it has three ingredients. We have a spice cake mix, two cans of apple pie filling, and two sticks of butter. That's all that goes in here. So it's kind of like a dump cake but for the crock pot. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this together and then it has to cook for two and a half hours on high and I thought well let's give it a try and we'll see We'll see how it turns out. Now my crock pot cooks really hot, so that is something you probably want to take into consideration. I definitely think it'll cook in two and a half hours. But I'm going to throw this in before I start my dinner. And then we'll just uh, get it going. Okay, so far so good. It looks just like it does when they make it in their little video that's like 33 seconds long. Now, I love the tasty videos, but I have to admit, I don't think you can learn a lot from a 33 second video or a two minute video or whatever. I think that it's better to get some input. Okay. I'm just going to smooth this out on the top. And then two sticks of butter. This is exactly what they did in their video. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in mine. Now, I should let you know that I did spray the inside of my crock pot vessel with some vegetable oil cooking spray. I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm going to set it in the um, sleeve to high and we'll be back in two and a half hours and we'll see what this looks like. All right it has been two and a half hours and this is what it looks like. Now I had a disagreement with Molly who swore that I should be stirring this up and I told her that I wasn't going to do anything except what the tasty video said to do which was Put the stuff in the crock pot, turn it on, and leave it alone. So that's what I did. Now, Micah swore that I had to stir it too. So she actually went and she found the video and she looked at the recipe and sure enough, it said it didn't say anything about stirring it. So we just left it alone. I have to tell you, it smells amazing. Mm. It's all bubbly. Mm. Oh. And then, of course, that's not mixed in. Hmm? It's alright, because it's like a like a crumble. Okay, so there is some that didn't get the the stuff, right? And then this part here where the butter, you could see where the butter sticks were kind of sitting. Around the edges it's nice and dark. Okay, so we have some vanilla ice cream we're going to go ahead and serve this with because that's what they did in the video as well. All right, let's dig in here and see how it tastes. See if this is indeed tasty. You ready, honey? I 
It tastes really good. It's pretty good. This stuff that got around the edges is a little thick and a little chewy. But, in all honesty, that could be my crock pot. Because my crock pot, it cooks pretty hot. Now, I would say, let's make this a four ingredient apple crumble and add some chopped pecans to it because I think that would be divine. So, this one passed the tasty test <laughs> or the tasty trial. The verdict is in and this one is really good. It's pretty good. So, you should definitely give this one a try. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the fun that we have here every single day. And you wouldn't want to miss any more tasty trials in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed our very first installment of Tasty Trials. Leave a comment down below and let me know if there's any Tasty Trials you would like us to do. Things that you've seen. Maybe you want to see if they really work the way that they say they do. And we'll give them a try. So, until next time, I'll see ya. Chicken teriyaki in the pressure cooker. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!